everybody. Welcome to Rob's Reviews and Demos. Thanks for clicking on the link. I appreciate it. My buzz today is brought to you by Chi Chi's Mango Margarita Mix um, with a splash of extra tequila because you definitely need a splash of extra tequila always. Uh, so today we're going to do a review of the Vigu 1088. Uh, this was sent to me by Vigu for free uh, for total transparency. And they asked me to do an honest review on the speaker, which they may regret, but I will do it. Okay, let's stop the video right there, guys. Um, Vigu supplied these speakers for free. Um, I will not, so my viewers are aware, I will not give a good review or change my review in any way just because I get something for free. Uh, if that keeps me from getting free speakers to test from manufacturers, then so be it. Uh, my reviews will always be 100% honest, uh, no matter how I got the speaker. Uh, even if I'm paid to review it, the review is going to be honest. Uh, you're never going to get any bad information here. So I just wanted to stop the video and say that right off the bat here. So the speaker is 220 bucks on Amazon. It comes with two wireless microphones. It comes with the RCA to auxiliary. It comes with an auxiliary power cable to connect it to a battery. And it comes with a little phone holder. So it comes with a bunch of stuff. Um, has a luggage handle. It has wheels on it. It's very light. You don't need a luggage handle or wheels. The thing is super light. The lighting is very cool. It's kind of disco ballish lighting. Um, I'm sure you can see it flashing on the wall behind me here. So the lighting is, is definitely a plus on this uh, 1088. Very cool lighting. So that said, I'm going to give you a little sound demonstration on it. Uh, play it for you a little bit. And then at the end, I'm going to come back and give you my honest review that you asked for. So uh, let's get on with the show. volume there uh, as I'm sure you could tell there was absolutely zero rattling of the camera at all um, the bass just is not there with these speakers and you can tell when you pick them up they're very very light um, the magnet is like a refrigerator magnet in there so let's put on a little it doesn't sound awful though I mean um, I think for like karaoke for some kids and stuff I think it would be fine uh, but don't buy this for an adult that really likes good sound. It's it's not really going to work out for you that way. So let's do a little rock and roll. better for rock music because rock music isn't as bassy as hip-hop and rap and that so uh, it definitely works a lot better for for uh, rock music and we'll do one more little rock song here Honestly, I, I kind of like the sound on the on the rock music a little bit. Um, again, it's not a JBL. It's not a, you know, it's not super high end audio. But for two hundred bucks for this speaker, uh, it may actually be worth it with the extra stuff that it comes with. Um, it is rechargeable. It has the the cool disco ball lighting. It's got a couple of tweeters on there, which the tweeters sound great. 
Um, but then again, I really never have problems with, with the highs on any of the speakers I test. The issues I always have are on the mids and the bass. And this one has a pretty, pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty lacking in bass. So uh, it's still a cool looking speaker. Uh, I do like the disco ball on top. I think that's pretty neat. Um, it's not, you know, it's not something I put in the middle of my living room, but it's, it's not a bad unit. Um, so I'll get a little closer. I'll show you the connections on the speaker real quick, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the side of the Vigu uh, 1088, VS 1088. Um, as you can see, it has a few input options. Um, your auxiliary uh, in, uh, power input, if you want it, you can hook up a 12-volt battery to it. Uh, your mic input, this is the charging cable, microphone volume, microphone echo. It, being the thing has dual mics, you know, it, it probably will adjust both microphones and the echo on both mics. It's strange that they have wireless mics plus this guy here, but that's what they got. Then they also have a guitar input. Uh, you have your audio input if you want to hook up some RCAs. Um, you could actually plug your phone auxiliary port in with the cable they give you. Plug into your auxiliary and use the RCA inputs. Plus, it has an audio input as well here. Um, you know, a little three millimeter auxiliary input. So it's got a ton of options for connect connectivity. Um, you know, your little smart card and a flash drive. So this one actually has the true wireless stereo which is pretty neat if you got a couple of these units. Um, you can loop songs. Your mode is just your FM different mode. different Lonely connections. Mode. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. Uh, it's got carrying handles there. It has a luggage handle. It has wheels. It also has these little uh, doodads here to hang it on a wall if you wanted to. Uh, I, I wouldn't do that, but you can. The speaker is very light, um, and again, that's because the magnet in there is very small. I don't, you don't need a luggage rack or wheels for this thing. I mean, it's it can't be more than 20 pounds. So, yeah, it's, it's a light speaker. It does have a lot of connectivity options, again, but is it worth $220? Well, let's sit down and talk about it real quick. Okay, so there's your sound demo and the close-up look at the... Vigu VS 1088. Uh, I happen to like the way this one sounds a little more than the than the other one they sent me, and this one's actually a little bit cheaper, uh, thirty bucks cheaper. So, my final thoughts on the speaker. I'm sorry, Vigu, but I personally would not buy this speaker um, unless it was for like about a ten or twelve year old kid, maybe maybe eight year old kids. Something like that. They want to sing karaoke together to get a duet going. It'd be pretty cool for that. Um, I wouldn't buy it for an adult just because the the bass isn't there and the, the sound quality is is pretty low. Um, yeah, it's it's very lacking in bass. I doubt it will go to forty five hertz on the low end. Uh, it sounds okay though, and it's decently loud. Uh, it's not awful. Uh, I'm actually going to give this to a friend of mine that has like a little house on a river where they party a lot. And he's an older guy, but um, when they're drinking their beers, I'm sure they're, they're going to enjoy the lights and singing and all that with it. So um, I'm going to give that to a buddy and my phone is ringing. Okay, so yeah, the cool thing about the speaker is it does have two mics and they're wireless. So that's that's a pretty cool feature that it has. Me, I I'm in the sound quality, so I personally wouldn't buy it for myself um and if i did i'd probably just return it right away uh another option you have if you're looking for a budget speaker is the dolphin uh the brand is dolphin i believe they're made in the u.s um uh, they're they're low price speakers they're sold on amazon uh, i tested one about a year and a half ago uh, i believe the same model right now is selling for 170 dollars and they sound better than the Vigus do. Um, they come with a five band analog um, equalizer on them so you can really play with the sound a little bit. Uh, the lighting isn't as good as this Vigu has, but, but uh, you know, they have some lighting on them. But the bass is way better on the Dolphin. So if you're looking for a budget speaker, 
Um, I would go that route versus versus the Vigus myself. But again, these are probably really good for some young kids to do karaoke and sing together and stuff. They would work out great for that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's that's the only way I'd buy them. So I appreciate you all watching this video. Um, thanks again. And you guys have any questions, like always, hit me up in the comments. I, I always get back to you. It may take me a day or two, but I will get back to you. And uh, thanks. Cheers. Yeah.